I V M. Hello and welcome to another fun-filled, action-packed bulletin of Smile India. I'm your host Shifa Maitra, and today I have loads to make you feel good about the country. Let's begin from Bhatinda in Punjab, which is home to a maths professor who did something totally out of the box. Once the lockdown began, Sanjeev Kumar was worried about his students who could not come to him for coaching. Then soon online classes began, and he realized it was time to adapt. So he began teaching via video calls, and soon fifty students were attending his classes diligently. He refused to charge them because it was something he felt he had to do to help them get their fundamentals right before they went to class ten. Soon word spread, and students and parents from all over Punjab and Delhi started asking him to teach them too. Sanjeev Kumar realized that the children needed help in his favorite subject, so he had to rise to the occasion. He asked some colleagues and ex-students to join his mission, and they agreed. Next, he spent two hundred dollars and got a Zoom account that could accommodate more pupils in batches. He needed to make sure all queries were answered, problems solved, and weekly tests taken to ensure they were understanding. Special care was taken for students who needed more time. Sanjeev Sir's online classes now have 800 students from all over the country, from Assam to Hyderabad. A patient expert who's present in every class and no fees. It doesn't get better than that, does it? The good professor believes it is his contribution to the nation, since students should not suffer. A COVID hero who totally deserves our respect. Next up is news from Alipur Dwar in North Bengal. The authorities got to know that people in the remote villages in the hills were not coming to get vaccinated. The district magistrate Surendra Kumar Meena took stock of the situation and spoke to medical experts. He put together a team of doctors who could take the vaccines in ice boxes, got masks and sanitizers, and joined this troop to walk uphill into the villages. It was a steep climb through forests and rivers, but the DM was game. At the first village, he patiently answered all the questions that were leading to vaccine hesitation, and then the people eligible happily took the jab. He went from village to village, home to home, distributing masks and sanitizers, and getting people vaccinated. The villagers felt respected and heard because, for the first time, an IAS officer had come to them and helped them understand why it is so important to get protected. He finally reached Adma, the last village at the Indo-Bhutan border. And only after the last person had got the shot did Meena start climbing down. This man has totally set the bar for what a humane administrator ought to do. If you live in Hyderabad or when you visit, do check out a store called Swach that sells organic products. What's unique about the store is that it's run by three youngsters who have learning disabilities, yet they know what they're doing and ensure every customer has a great experience. When they get customers who are now regulars. There's one woman who smiles relieved that she made the right decision. She is Suparna Bajaj, Shiv's mother. A couple of years ago, when she realized that her son would have trouble finding a regular job, she decided to empower him by teaching him entrepreneurial skills with her help. As she began working on her plan, she thought she could train some more youngsters who were in a situation similar to Shiv. Since she knew how these special people think, she began patiently guiding them. And let them understand at their own pace using their own minds. They began with learning how to source from vendors, make payments, and then moved on to storing the goods, talking to clients, packing items, and making bills. Now they even organize home deliveries. Having learned and understood the process, these youngsters are now confident and self-sufficient. What Suparna likes is that they can now fend for themselves anywhere and have the skill sets to set up a small business at any point in life. This mother surely deserves a special place in our hearts, as she has made a difference in the lives of children who were otherwise floundering. Before signing off, I have to tell you about R S Renju from Kilamanur in Kerala. This man loves detective novels and has re- read everything on Sherlock Holmes and any other detective novel he could lay his hands on. Also loves telling tales of detectives to anyone willing to listen. Most of the times, this would be his colleagues at the bus depot, since Renju is a bus conductor. When he finished reading the last Sherlock Holmes story, he was lost. A bus driver suggested it was time he write his own book. So at night and on his days off, Ranju began writing stories in Malayalam. His stories were inspired by Sherlock Holmes, but different. He began writing for an online portal and was thrilled when he got regular readers. Soon he found a publisher, but that deal fell through as the young man was not available for meetings through the day. 
Ranju didn't give up and finally his book of five short stories got published. All his colleagues at the bus depot bought a copy and the shy conductor could not stop beaming. He got great reviews in the papers and the book did very good business. Now the publishers have commissioned a second book and Ranju smiles as he thinks of plots while punching tickets. I'm sure soon he'll find a passenger on his bus reading one of his thrilling stories. I wonder if he will hand over the ending along with the ticket to the passenger. I know that feeling. I saw a girl buying a chicken soup for the sole title which had a few of my stories in it. It's been years but I still remember that girl's face and that quizzical look on her face when she saw me smiling at her. That's it for today and I'll be back next week with more delightful news from India. Till then stay home, stay safe and get vaccinated. For more interesting information on our country please like and follow Good News Indians on Facebook. To hear more engaging podcasts download the IVM app. Go to the IVM website or look for us wherever you get podcasts from to stay in touch with me you could look up shifa maitra on twitter and instagram since you heard and liked smile india in english you could check out our hindi version too and recommend it to people who prefer podcasts in hindi hey it's been another great week on the ivm podcast network on the edge of the just cricket podcast in the first half Ashwin is joined by Varun to wrap India's ODI tour of Sri Lanka in the second half DJ joins the party to discuss the first T20 international between India and Sri Lanka if you'd like to hear more about this match former Indian cricketer Sobha Karim joins Rajiv Mishra on Khel Niti and they talk some more about it Ladies and gentlemen, we're really excited to announce a new show, a show about crypto with Rohan Joshi. He's going to dive deep and demystify all the crypto stuff that we've been hearing about. And let me tell you a little bit more about stuff that's going on on the network really quickly. Congratulations to Maru Kinai who celebrates 50 episodes of the Note with a discussion on health as a fundamental right. On Pesa Vesa, Anupam talks to Harsha Chetanwala of MyWealthGrow.com. Sarina Punawala is starting a new mini series on emotional intelligence. Do check out the kickoff episode on the Empowering series and Simplified talks about semiconductors. Do follow us on social media. We're IVM Podcast on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And remember, if you're enjoying this show or any other show for that matter, please do tell a friend. That's really helpful for us. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors on the network this week. They make this all possible. Thank you very much, Seat, Cred, Global Victoria, Bank of Baroda, Intuit India, Lenovo, and CoinSwitch Kuber. We really appreciate your support. Have you ever wondered where the business world is headed? How the ways in which we create, market, and sell to consumers will evolve? Or if we'll ever go back to wearing pants while working? For answers to all of this and more, tune into Advertising Is Dead with me, Varun Dugirala. Every Tuesday, as I talk to entrepreneurs, leaders, and change makers from across business, media, marketing, and beyond, you can catch all episodes of Advertising Is Dead on the IBM Podcast website, app, or wherever you get your podcasts from. <laughs>